I'm your host, Brian Madison, and this week on DeerHunterFan.com TV. We have a look at a couple of close encounters I've had during the New York season. I've seen some nice birds, but man, have I had trouble closing the deal. And then we're going to have a look back at a successful hunt from out in Kansas' bow season. Hey, you're going to get to see some birds and also a bird taken with a bow, so stay tuned. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Gary Nichols Construction, Outback Archery, Rune Outfitters, Christian Bow Hunters of America, Deer Run Cat Rentals, Grizzly Gary Outdoors, Grizzly Gary Radio Show, Quinn Pine Taxidermy, Dennis Barmore Wood Molders and Wood Dryers, Sinclairville Superette, HunterByDesign.com, and David L. Conroe. It's a really hard spot to get to. Well, let's see what I can. Besides just backing out and trying to swing in around somewhere else. 
because I can't go anywhere else really. There's not enough cover in the woods, not enough foliage yet. He's right down there in a flat. He'd see me, so I kind of just got to sit here and hope for the best that he comes up here. like he won the game this morning. I was on him for two hours and 20 minutes about just playing this game with him, chasing him around, trying to get ahead of him. But the, the terrain he was on just didn't allow for it. I mean, he uh, started down in a ravine, ran right up on him. When I heard him, you know, when I heard him got the first time, I ran down in there did a locating call and he blew up and he was within 100 yards of me right there. I hit the ground. And there was a fallen tree to my left and I think that that's what uh, saved him there because he came around that fallen tree and when he came out the other side he just kept something between me and him the whole time. Didn't see nothing. Scooted out of there. And same deal these other two setups. Man, I'll tell you. We both played the game well though. I don't think I could have done anything different without him seeing me so just one of those things he's a smart bird I never really got a good look at him it's a shame I didn't get a chance to get him on film really I think it just catch a glimpse of his head but that's my first real action I've had all season so far and we're a week deep into it so maybe they're gonna start gobbling more but I'm going home and getting some lunch. See ya. Yeah. 40, 40 yards. It's 11.45. Nap time.
they, uh, I mean, it's light. They came down light for that road. But, there was a bearded hen in the group. And, um, you know, I didn't know if she was going to give me a shot or not. But, uh, she eventually finally did. And, I believe she's right up here. It's not far. I saw the nocturnal a little bit ago. I think all the other turkeys were walking around her. But, uh, I feel like I made a decent shot on her. This episode of DeerHunterFan.com TV was sponsored by Gary Nichols Construction, Outback Archery, Rune Outfitters, Christian Bow Hunters of America, Deer Run Cat Rentals, Grizzly Gary Outdoors, Grizzly Gary Radio Show, Twin Pine Taxidermy, Dennis Barmore Wood Molders and Wood Dryers, Superette, HunterByDesign.com, and David L. Conroe.